In 1880, Tesla moved to Budapest, where he found employment with the Central Telegraph Office. Here, his idea for an AC motor began to haunt him. In my room, I could hear the ticking of a watch with three rooms between me and the timepiece. A carriage passing at a distance of a few miles fairly shook my whole body. The whistle of a distant locomotive vibrated so strongly in my ears that the pain was unbearable. To recover from these attacks, I took long walks in the city park. One afternoon, which is ever present in my recollection, the sun was just setting and reminded me of Goethe's glorious passage. The glow retreats. Done is the day of toil. Upon its track to follow, follow soaring. As I uttered these inspiring words, the idea came to me like a lightning flash. I fell to my knees and drew a diagram in the ground. Tesla perceived a whirling field of energy. He suddenly knew he could recreate this rotating field by powering the coils of a motor in different steps or phases, like the pistons of an engine. The resulting forces of magnetic attraction and repulsion would literally twist the rotor in a circle, the electrical equivalent of the wheel. And all this was accomplished with alternating currents. It would soon turn the wheels of industry around the world. The strength of Tesla's mind was almost certainly in this sense of visualization.